Hi everyone, welcome to Tony and Guy TV. My name is Ashley Berryhill, I'm a Tony and Guy educator. And today I'm here to show you how to get that big Victoria's Secret round brush. There's always little tips and tricks that can make things a little bit better and propel you to the next level. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do that. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is product application because that is key for your big style outs at home or inside of the salon. Today I'm gonna to be working with the Tony and Guy Hair Meat, Hair Meat Wardrobe product line. And I'll just start with the prep line. This is a heat protection mist. I'm just gonna be spraying it from mid length down because as with any client, you have to take into consideration the type of hair they have and you also want your client to leave with healthy hair. You don't wanna be overindulging their hair with heat. I'm also going to go through with the Tony and Guy Hair Meat Wardrobe line and just continue with the prep. And this is a volume plumping mousse. This is gonna help me to get that volume that I'm looking for. It's gonna provide a little bit of hold in her hair. She's got really nice, soft, pretty hair, but I need something that's gonna give it some stick. And this is gonna provide that for me. I think anytime that you're working with a mousse, you have to be very aware of the consistency that you're working with. Um, some mousses are a lot stickier than others. This one I really enjoy because it's got a good amount of hold to it and I find it smooths really well too, but it's never sticky. So I'm gonna apply that first from mids to ends. And the amount that you're gonna use is completely contingent upon how much hair your client has or you yourself have. Once I've applied the mid to, mid to ends, I'm gonna apply it at the root. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit less at the root because I can always go back and apply more. But the worst thing that I could do is apply too much product at the root and have a really, really greasy feel. And then I have to go through and re-shampoo her after I've done. For a little bit of extra uh, tack to the hair, I'm gonna work in a salt spray. And that one can go from roots to ends. And now that we've prepped the hair, we're ready to go ahead and start blow drying. I'm about to begin my blow dry, and the first thing I did is section out her fringe area. That is something that you've gotta do right away, um, and just make sure that that looks pretty before you start in on the rest of the hair. If it gets curly and funky, there's no coming back from that. So I'll start there first, just working with a flat wrapping technique with my flat Tony and Guy paddle brush and my Tony and Guy Super Solano. Now that I have her hair about 80% dry, I'm going to go in and start sectioning for my blow dry. And what I want to think about when I'm sectioning is where exactly I want to see my volume the most. And usually where women want to see their volume the most is going to be through the top and through the crown area. Most of the time women don't want volume right around their face because they don't want to look like, like Mickey Mouse. That's not where you need your volume. So that's what I'm going to think about when I place my sections. And I'm going to come through, and I'm gonna use two curved diagonal back sections that are gonna meet in the middle of the back of her head. Make sure that you do have a fair amount of clips on hand. These clips work great, I love the Tony and Guy clips. Also a butterfly clip of sorts would work for you if you're at home on your own. Large Tony and Guy round brush is gonna be the key to success on this one. I think that it works really nice. And also the core of it heats up pretty good, which is gonna help to create um, that bend and that movement that you're looking for. First things first, you're gonna focus on that root area. Once you've gotten the roots all set out, then you're gonna go and focus on these ends. It's really important to baby the ends of these hair because the ends is usually the most porous, most difficult area. So you can see, you don't rush it. You might have to go through those ends a few times and that's okay. Once 
Once I've got my round brush nice and heated up, I'm gonna twist. and set the hair down. Notice I don't drop it. I actually take the time to set the hair down so that those ends are really nice and smooth and that makes a big difference in your round brush. I wanna make sure I don't take sections that are bigger than my actual round brush can fit. I'm gonna come in over the top first and I'm gonna hook my thumb on there so that I can get these roots dry first. So really almost working the nozzle like it's a flat iron down the hair shaft to get lots of smoothness. And I'm not worried about the heat because I've got a heat protectant on my model's hair. I also want to heat them up quite a bit so that I can get a lot of movement through them. So just twisting. You want to make sure that your blow dryer nozzle is parallel to your parting. So that's why I switch hands from side to side because if you look at my body position, if I do this, I'm bent over and it's weird. Switching hands is essential. I'm going to go through and I'm going to resection, but I also am going to apply a flexible hold hairspray per each section. That way I know that my curls are going to stay in place. So section number two, still working that diagonal back. So working on my second section, Still coming, hooking my thumb. Now though, I am trying to get a little bit more volume in there. So I will over direct a bit more. Right on that root area. After that, coming from underneath. At this point, everything I'm focusing on is volume. All right, so you guys can see we've completed the blow dry thus far. Now we're really into the volume zone. So I've got this section left. I'm gonna work horizontal sections all the way up through to the front area. And I'm gonna be setting them with my clips so that it really, really holds that volume that we're looking to have. I'm going to now combine the two sections into one. And I'll start horizontally right down here. So just opening my clip to section. I'm gonna spritz those roots with my flexible hairspray and these mids with my flexible hairspray before I blow dry. And I'm gonna over direct quite a bit, hooking my thumb. I'm gonna come from the underneath first. And I'm gonna blast this up as high as I can go. Once you get it all the way dry, you're then going to ro roll it up and you're just going to, right on top of it, blast it with some heat. Then you're going to turn, turn your blow dryer to cold air and really try and get it to set in there with the cool air. 
unroll your roller. I place a clip right at the base of my curl. All right, section number two. A little bit of Tony and Guy flexible hold hairspray. Make sure you get some of that right on those roots. The roots is where the money's at right here. Right in between the sections and everything. All right, so I finished my round brush set. This is what you will be looking at with a complete set. Is you'll have these nice little waves through the bottom. Make sure that you did spray them with a fair amount of hairspray because they have to sit for a while before you're done. You don't want them to fall out. And then these ones, I've gone through, over directed everything and round brushed it all back and then clipped it for extra volume. Um, I let it cool, sprayed it with some hairspray so that I know it's gonna stay in place and I'm ready to go ahead and drop them now. So I'm gonna drop them starting from the back and then working my way forward. So I'll just go ahead and unclip it. And you can see, look at all that bounce right there. That's a lot of bounce. And then just do a quick spritz of each section from the underneath with a little bit of hairspray right on those roots. You notice I've gone in here with hairspray probably three separate times, but I am working with a workable hairspray. So just to give a little extra pump back here, just gonna work a little bit of a back comb just right in through that crown area and then I'll do a little bit in this other section and then I'm gonna shake it all out. So keeping that over direction going that I have for my blow dry. Just really trying to pack it in at the root right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to shake it out. And I'll have her bring her whole head back. Also gonna use a shine spray. So that's our final look. Thank you for watching.